Uh, few days, uh, we have seen uh, multiple concerns uh, being raised regarding uh, some of the financial numbers that have come out in uh, the CAG report. Uh, consequently, the finance department has uh, submitted clarification on those numbers to clarify on uh, the different aspects and the different concerns that were raised. Uh, at the very outset, I would uh, like to just mention to all of you that uh, this entire concern between uh, whether CAG numbers are correct <clears throat> or the state government numbers are correct, uh, I just want to clarify that uh, both are actually in the right direction. Both are actually correct. The question is how and where you place the numbers. Which date you take the numbers from. And uh, in which section or under which head do you put certain expenditures? And uh, based on that, the numbers actually uh, come out differently. So that's the reason why CAG has come out with certain reports based on putting certain expenditures under certain heads, which has then inflated numbers in a certain way. But if you actually were to remove those numbers from that particular head, which should have been the case, then you will find that what the finance ministry is saying and department is saying is correct. So to give you a more detailed picture on what we are trying to say and what we are trying to um, uh, share with all of you, we will try to give you a detailed presentation uh, in a simplified manner so that it doesn't confuse you any further. And whenever you have questions, you can always ask the questions. But we are going to lay down all the numbers for you in the most transparent manner to share with you and inform you about uh, the facts and the figures that are there and based on that you can obviously make your own judgment on what are the actual facts and where the state stands in terms of finances. So AG has raised three concerns. One is that the GSDP growth rate is not so good, it's only 10%. So this is the AG report of 22-23. So AG said uh, state's GSDP, which is the state's gross state domestic product, has grown, grown only by 10%, which is less. AG has also said that the fiscal deficit of the state in the year 22-23 as a percentage of the GDP is 6.55, which is high. AG has also said that the debt of the state, overall debt, to the GSDP is 43%, which is also high. So these are the three things that the AG has said. So one by one, which we already issued a press release, but I think we want to clarify in much greater detail. So as Honorable CM just mentioned, it is about the timing of the numbers. See, the, the fundamental first number is the GSDP number, which is the gross state domestic product. So this number is computed <coughs> over a four year period. So for this year, for example, for 24-25, we, we only have the first estimates. So then we have what is called the Department of Economics and Statistics under the planning department, which over and, and, there, and the nodal department in Government of India to finalize the GSDP is the MOSP, that is Ministry of Statistics and Program Implementation. Basically, uh, the receipts minus expenditure, very simple terms. So how much we have money from our tax collections, from the <laughs> Government of India also collects taxes on behalf of all the states and gives the share to the states. So we get share of central taxes, we have our own taxes and other revenues. So this is all our receipts minus our expenditure. That is fiscal deficit. So the overall story across the world is that every country, every state, every city, everybody who has finances is, is, is expected to spend a little bit more than what you have, especially because when you spend more, the growth happens. So, and that is how the whole world economy works. So, but there is a limit. If you go beyond limit, that's the problem. So, Government of India has for the long time through what is called the Fiscal Responsibility and Budget Management Act, all the states have said that there is a limit. 3% was the limit, but in the last five years, because of COVID, Government of India is saying, please borrow more and spend more and invest in capital. So, they have increased this limit to about 4%. So 4% is the, is the limit of borrowing, that much we have to borrow, we cannot borrow more than that. I think the question of government borrowing more does not arise because this is controlled by government of India. Now the question is, if we cannot go beyond 4%, how is our fiscal deficit 6.5%? So this is what AG is also asking and this is I think the main issue which we want to clarify. So what has happened, a very interesting thing that has happened uh, after COVID is again government of India came up with a scheme called SASCI. It's called the Special Capital Assistance to States for Capital Investment. 
So government of India said, India has to go. We have this Vixit Bharat dream. India has to become a developed country. So states have to invest more in capital projects. They have to take up new projects, new roads, new schools, new highways, new buildings, all kinds of new capital projects. So government of India said, we will give you money to the states. The government of India will borrow and give to the states as a 50-year interest-free loan. So it's called, it's a 50-year interest-free loan will be given to the states. So take this money, invest in capital projects. So, and the special capital assistance scheme comes as a, one is a normative allotment, which is we get a quota of that money. So in this, as sir said, there is some money that is given to every state as a matter of right. There is some which is performance based. So you submit good DPRs, you submit good projects, you submit the UCs on time. So if you can see, we are one of the better performing states, especially last year. Our normative was 765, not 767. We got 825 crores Extra. on the performance based based on urban reforms, for the construction of Unity Mall, for the construction of uh, digital libraries in 700 villages, for doing police housing. All these are schemes based on DPR and on a first come first serve basis. This year, that is 24-25, we are targeting 2,085 crores under this scheme. Again, our normative is only about 765. So what we are saying is that, because we are getting more money under this, so our, our year is 22-23. 22-23, we got 1,000 crores under this scheme, 1,049. 1000 crores as a percentage of 400 crore, 40,000 crores, which is our GSDP, is 2.5%. So our permissible GSDP is 4%. Another 2.5% is coming from here. So therefore, our GSDP in the accounting becomes 6.5%, our fiscal deficit. But effectively, our fiscal deficit is less than 4. This is, this is, a, this is a loan by definition. But in reality, this is not a loan, it is a grant. So that is the, that is the biggest reason why our fiscal deficit, that's the only reason actually, why our fiscal deficit is showing as six and a half instead of less than four. Next slide, please. And this also just to give how an example. How much this, uh, for 50 years, this interest-free loan, how much is given? No, that's what, go back. So this interest-free loan for Those 50 years, <coughs> the normative allotment in the first column, that is the amount given to Megalaya. We were given 200 normative, we used 200 in the first year. Second year, we were given 200, but we performed very well, so we got extra 100, we got total 300. Third year, our normative allotment was 614, we did very good, and we got additional 435 crores, total went to 1049 crores. Last year, we were given 765 uh, crores, we did well, we got extra 825, and total of 1293. So we are one of the highest uh, beneficiaries, actually, of this particular scheme and as mentioned by Commissioner Secretary, we don't have to pay the interest for this. So, you know, this is going to be the principal amount after 50 years we'll have to repay back. And we will show you again that there is a mechanism for this to also hedge for this in one way where we have got a fund that uh, in a sinking consolidated fund money is kept and that hedging is done for that also in that particular aspect which we'll show you later on. So this is technically uh, in a way a grant but for accounting purpose, since it is a long-term loan being taken by government of India, the CAG ha had to put it under some CAG head. CAG has been instructed yeah, by yeah, government of India. Yeah, to put it under this head. So all states have gone through this. All the states have, uh, think, even Assam, they, they, got a, they got about 2,000 crores under this. We got 1,000 crores last year, uh, 1,200 crores last year, they took about 2,000 plus crores. But their GSDP is 150,000 crores. So therefore, uh, 2,000 for one for a GSDP of uh, of, of, of two lakh uh, uh, one lakh fifty thousand crores. The percentage is much lesser. So the impact of that accounting on a large state is much lesser compared to a small state where 1,200 on a 40,000 uh, or a 1,000 crore on a 40,000 is about two and a half percent. So that's where uh, these numbers are showing. So AG is not wrong in what they're doing. It's just that this number should not technically be under our debt uh, our fiscal deficit uh, uh, numbers. Uh, but then AG was instructed to do it and uh, just to share with you this issue has been raised with government of India and government of India in fact yesterday commission secretary had a meeting at finance department and this issue has been raised finance ministry has taken cognizance of this and they have asked us to write a letter which they then going to take up with the AG to ensure that in the future this number should not come under our uh, fiscal deficit or even the debt category. But uh, this uh, amount, uh, even after 50 years, we have to return. Principal amount. Only the principal. Not the interest. But we'll show you. Can you show the next slide, please? So this is what so it there is. There is something called a consolidated sinking fund. So this is again, these are all financial. 
So India, you know, we have very strong financial, uh, you know, uh, mechanisms. mechanisms. So what what the consolidated sinking fund is? Every state government, RBI mandates that every state government should deposit 0.05 percentage of the outstanding liabilities into what is called as a consolidated sinking fund. So every year we put this money. So we have almost 705 crores in our consolidated sinking fund. So which means, let's say if we default tomorrow, this money will be used to pay. And now if you look at the special capital lessons, last year, 22, 23, we borrowed 1000 crores, borrowed means as I said, it's a grand one. But we have put 5 crores in that fund. This 5 crores in 50 years, just by the power of compounding, becomes 300 crores. Next year again, we are putting 5 crores, that becomes another 300 crores. So like this, to repay the 1000 crores in 50 years, we will have 5000 crores. So, so just by the simple power of compounding. So you know, because, because as I said, we'll be putting this money, we will get interest for putting this money in the bank account. But we don't have to pay interest for using this money because government of India is paying the interest. And the principal amount also of what we take, that means the 1000 crores we take today, 50 years later we have to pay 1000 crores only. We don't have to pay, you know, the multiplied number. So the 1000 crores 50 years later is, is going to be valued much lesser. And therefore the consolidated sinking fund amount that we're putting of 5 crores is going to be a hedging as I said and which will allow us to pay and repay that amount that is required for the amount we've taken. So as I said, 1000 crores we are borrowing today, we have to pay back 1000 crores 50 years later, not the compounded interest value of that, the principal amount of 1000 crores after 50 years. So therefore that is the beauty of this particular project and therefore this cannot be seen as a pure debt because debt means we have to pay interest principal amount within a certain time frame, a period of about 7 years, 8 years or 10 years, whatever the RBI you know, mandates for us. So it's, it's a completely different category. But the CAG has put this particular fund under our debt aspect and fiscal deficit, which actually from a, a realistic point of view uh, actually would not be correct uh, because of what the explanation we've given to you right now. And uh, this should have been, uh, the numbers that we should be showing is uh, numbers, two numbers, which is uh, the fiscal, fiscal deficit with the special assistant. Can you go to the next slide? Yeah, next slide. So they should go, they should show numbers, which is on the second table, if you can see the second table. The fiscal deficit, as per AG right now, is 6.55. Uh, if you look at 2022-23. But if you were to look at the revised GSTP, as per the revised GSTP of the MOSP, which is the first slide we showed you, where we have shown that we are at 46,000 and not 42,000. Already our fiscal deficit is down to 6.01 because the higher the GDP, the lesser the percentage because it's debt over GSDP, right? So third column, if you see uh, that we have, third row, sorry, if you look at it, which says the, the fiscal deficit after correction of two, which means after removing the special assistance on capital investment. If you remove that from the calculation, our debt, GST, our fiscal deficit of, uh, our fiscal deficit is 3.75. So Sir, Why is there any possibility because as you mentioned, like it's a kind of grave mistake that the AG had done. No, it's not a grave mistake. Uh, it is a direction. Let me complete. Yeah. Can AG also issue clarification? No, they can't. Because this is like this. The point is, AG has been directed to do this uh, process. And this has been done for all states as we mentioned. Now, finance department will have to direct AG that from future, next year onwards, you should come out with a chart like this, where you say fiscal deficit with the capital investment, sub, uh, special investment, on, uh, special assistance on capital investment is 6.0, but without it, which is the actual fiscal deficit is 3.75. So this kind of numbers so that people are cl clear that uh, these are two different categories and they should be dealt separately. And those who would like to see the number with the special assistant, then you can see the second column. And those who would like to see it without it, would see the third column. As I said, because uh, uh, you know, from all angles, uh, this long-term loan that, uh, that is there, uh, which is an interest-free loan, which is to be repaid after 50 years, is almost equivalent to a grant. And there is a mechanism for the state government to put funds in the consolidated fund, sinking, uh, consolidated sinking fund, which then will grow because we are getting interest on that money and that will be sufficient for us to be able to repay this amount, principal amount which we are borrowing today which we have to pay back after 50 years.